Beloved Masters, shall we gaze into the future, your future, and see what is in store for you over these coming months and years? These are the most important times you will ever spend on planet Earth. The decisions you make now, or the energies you radiate out from you to create the force field within which you live, will determine your reality and how quickly you will move deeper and more fully into the energies of the new age. It is time to decide whether you will move forward on the spiral of ascension through the gift of the life process or through the old energies of the death process. You are reversing the process that you initiated thousands and thousands of years ago as you descended into the realm of materiality and began the process of building a temple of flesh to contain your precious gift of life, your spark of divine consciousness, your spirit self. You are in the process of finding your way back to the love of the sacred heart, which is unconditional love. Love with conditions became the norm as humanity sank into the density, and from these negative thought patterns, all other self-limiting concepts sprang forth and became your truth. We will give you ways to monitor your thoughts and still the mind in order to reprogram your subconscious and conscious minds with higher wisdom from your divine self. We will help you to bring the multiple minds of your chakra system into balance so that, once again, they are working in harmony, one with another. As you begin to experience peace within the mind, you will begin to experience joy and bliss within the heart, for they are inexorably connected. It is time for you to release all those concepts that do not support your highest, most empowering vision for the future. Remember, whether you believe it to be so or not, each and every day you are becoming more powerful co-creators. Just as in the drama that is being played out on your planet today, there was a time in your ancient past when you, too, stepped forward, saying, I am ready to serve. You left the beauty, safety and comfort of your homeland and journeyed out into the unknown. You spent thousands of years, as you count time, in preparing yourself for your mission, and you were tested over and over again to see if, indeed, you were ready. You took an oath and agreed to allow yourselves to be diminished in light, wisdom, and power to whatever degree was necessary by fragmenting your wondrous self over and over again in order to fulfill your assigned task. Your loved ones wished you well and watched you go with great sadness, but also with pride welling up within, for they knew that you were going forth on a great mission, a mission mandated by our Father, Mother God. It is now time for a spiritual reunion of monumental proportions. The cosmic trumpet call for the battle to end has sounded, and it is time for you to return to your true estate as a full-fledged emissary of light for the Creator. A new assignment is being offered to you, an assignment that requires that you reclaim all of that which you left along the way on your descent into the material realm of reality. It is time to recapture the might and majesty of your true self. Come, together we will recapture the glory of those times as you release the ancient core fears and illusions that are holding you back from self-mastery and your highest potential. I am ever near to guide, guard, and protect you. You are loved profoundly. I am Archangel Michael. Dearest friends, the first level of initiation takes place when the ego personality merges with the soul. You must strive to bring your ego desire body self into harmony with the soul. You must endeavor to make your soul self your constant companion as you seek to reestablish your connection with your higher self over soul. You will gradually begin the process of realigning your multiple levels of reality so that you know without a doubt that you are a spark of our Father, Mother God, and that you have a divine destiny. 
Most likely at this time, you will not be in direct communion with your higher self. This will happen later. After a period of time, you will be drawn to a teacher or a guide. This may also be through organized religion or some group of students on the path in the early stages of awakening. You most likely will follow others ahead of you on the path and you may even give up some of your power and venerate them. One day, you will understand that this is not the appropriate path to self-mastery and you will begin to seek your own truth from many different sources. It is proper to listen to others and learn from them. However, you must always validate your own truth from within. You may become enamored with some of the glamours on the path, which means undue emphasis and desire for wealth, power, possessions, or special relationships, which can be detrimental to your spiritual growth. We have access to the universal flow of divine substance, and we need to be aware that an unlimited supply of abundance is ours for the asking. However, we must develop the right frame of mind and a sense of worthiness. We must understand that wealth is our divine birthright. However, it is on loan to us. We must hold the gifts of spirit lightly, allowing the frequencies of abundance to flow through us, taking what we need, and then allowing the remainder to flow out into the world of substance. This is so we may be filled again and again with adamantine particles of creator light. There are decisive subdimensional bands of energy, density, or frequency patterns of higher consciousness that we will tap into as we lift and refine our personal frequencies. The vibrational patterns of our physical being and auric field within the third and lower fourth dimensions are called our energetic signature. The vibrational patterns consisting of higher frequencies that we incorporate along the upward path are called our soul song. We integrate these vibrational patterns as we become attuned to the more refined levels of our higher self. Our thought forms begin to vibrate at a higher frequency rate and our outer world gradually rearranges itself to fit our current picture of reality. This is the appropriate time to begin an interaction with your higher self. It is advantageous to begin to visualize and imagine what you wish your personal world to look like and what you desires are for the future. Now is the time to begin to allow yourself to accept and visualize a reality beyond the confines of Earth. You will also begin to break free of the confines and restrictions of mass consciousness belief structure. In our third ye in fourth dimensional reality, we are affected by frequency bands of race karma, country karma, family lineage, and personal karma. As you go through the process of breaking agreements, forgiving and being forgiven, as well as severing any energetic cord attachments that you brought forward to resolve, you will accelerate the process of moving beyond all the karmic debts of the past. Your refined frequencies will lift you above the vibrational bands of chaos, conflict, and scarcity. These lower frequencies can only affect you if you have compatible frequencies, patterns within. That is why we have often been told, stay centered within your sacred heart as you radiate the frequencies of unconditional love out into the world. This is when you begin to experience a state of grace. You must develop a strong belief in yourself and in your abilities. You must learn and endeavor to sustain the universal laws of manifestation and abundance. You must learn to distinguish between desires of the ego and the desires of the soul. The desires of the ego are outward focused and never satisfied. 
The desires of the soul are inward focused and are for our greater good. We have been given explicit directions as how to live each day as a master, and also how to understand and use the universal laws of abundance. You must become an initiator of action and not just a reactor to other people's actions or to circumstances. Our sub-universe is an experiment in duality, polarity, and opposites. We have been given a opportunity to play God by using our free will to create our own version of material reality. Negative actions result in painful and uncomfortable lessons which hopefully show us the errors of our ways. An aware person learns through the validity of his, her experiences. Our learned lessons become the wisdom of mastership. You must understand that time is malleable and you are not limited to a third, fourth dimensional reality of structured time or a liner, event-oriented basis of timekeeping. Time as we know it has speeded up dramatically over the past 20 years and it will continue to do so as our frequency patterns accelerate. You have the ability to expand time or contract time and it is important to learn not to limit your manifestation abilities by placing limits of time or conditions on your visions for the future. When you place your vision or a project on the crystal table in your work pyramid, always ask for this or something greater to be manifested at the appropriate time for the greatest good of all. You must be patient with those around you and know that where they are in the awakening process is appropriate for them. You are not responsible for anyone's spiritual growth, but your own. You are to be an example and supportive. However, you are not to force your personal truth or desires on others. The journey of the soul is a very personal experience and each person must move through the multiple levels of consciousness in their own way and in their own time. You must learn to be comfortable within the silence of spirit and within the sanctuary of the soul. You must experience solitude to discover who you truly are. You are learning that your inner world is even more important than your physical reality. You must turn inward in order to learn how to function from an intuitive level as you strive to upgrade your emotional and mental abilities. It is important that you develop your meditative abilities so that you are comfortable with your own thoughts and eventually with communications between you, your soul, and higher self. There is both active and passive meditation. Active meditation is conveying to your God self that which you wish to manifest or understand. Passive meditation is stilling the mind so you may hear, receive the answers. As you evolve in consciousness and inner radiance, you will become a person of peaceful, decisive action. You will undergo a personality change over time as you learn to use the wisdom of your sacred mind, filtered through the loving energy of your sacred heart. During your sleep time, higher, more refined frequencies of light will gradually be downloaded into your etheric replica, which is lying in repose in your personal fifth dimensional pyramid of light. Over time, all negative, inharmonious frequencies or dark crystal energies will be replaced with more refined, higher vibrational sea crystals of light. Over time, your attitudes, desires, ways of being, and interacting with others will change dramatically. Many of the activities or entertainment that you enjoyed in the past will no longer interest you. As you become attuned to the higher dimensional energies, many of your friends will become uncomfortable around you 
and you will no longer have anything in common. Archangel Michael tells us, you can monitor the level of your frequency patterns by the friends and circumstances that you draw to you. Are your interactions with others mostly kind and mutually satisfying? Or are you consistently experiencing conflict and or stressful situations with those around you? Gradually, you will withdraw from social situations of lower vibrations. You will become more sensitive to the vibrations and energies around you. You will gain an understanding of how important it is to meet your own needs. And you will value the stability and serenity that you are creating around you. You may become very selective as to which events or interactions within mainstream society you are willing to participate in. Many of you may change jobs or even your vocation as your consciousness is refined and new opportunities are placed before you by your higher self and angelic helpers. When you begin to say and truly mean thy will be done, you give spirit permission to intercede for your greatest good, which will always be in alignment with your divine blueprint. As you become a living example of a God-inspired self-master, you will begin to have a beneficial effect on all those around you. You will exude an aura of peace and love as you calmly and diligently strive to stay focused and empowered within your sacred heart center. You will become proficient in living your higher truth as it has been revealed to you. You will exude self-confidence and determination in any situation when your beliefs are based on the wisdom of your sacred mind and heart. As your proficiency increases as a self-master, you will begin to view challenges and opportunities for growth from the higher vantage point. There will be many opportunities for change and expansion of consciousness on your journey of ascension. There will also be opportunities to strengthen your patience and to accept certain situations as they are presented to you. As we have been instructed, there will be times of great joy and even bliss. And there will still be stressful situations to overcome, as well as times of sadness and uncertainty. However, as we evolve, we will be able to move through these experiences without throwing ourselves too far off center and into a field of negativity. As you progress and move into the vibrational frequencies of the mid-fifth dimension, you will have integrated several facets of your higher self. You will now be in the flow of the river of light life whereby you will have access to a constant flow of adamantine particles of light. By this time, you will feel comfortable in your interactions with your Oversoul Higher Self, and perhaps also with a master teacher or an advanced angelic guide. You will have gained access to an appropriate level of higher wisdom teachings, and your higher sensory abilities will become enhanced and grow stronger over time. When the initiations of fire by friction, fire of body, solar fire, fire of soul, electromagnetic fire, fire of spirit have been completed, you will understand that mastership is a never-ending process of merging with greater and greater facets of your God self. You will be guided to or shown your true mission as a world server. You must learn to live peacefully in the mundane world of the third and fourth dimensions. However, it is vitally important that you surround yourself in an auric field of higher dimensional frequencies of your own making. This is the concept of being in the world, but not of it. You must live your truth as it has been revealed to you. 
you must practice non-judgment and strive to integrate and radiate the maximum amount of God light that your physical vessel can accommodate. If you can do this, beyond question, you will have fulfilled your earthly mission. Eternal love and angel blessings 